Hi guys and welcome to a new video. Today I'm taking a look at something a bit different, something that's a little bit tech and a little bit car related. It's a video I've been meaning to do for a while and it's how you can get speed camera alerts on your Audi and just to be on the safe side I'd say probably from models 2017 onwards. I'm going to do this on an A5 uh, but it should also work on an A4, a Q5, plus the S variants and probably some others that have a similar MMI system. So the majority of this process has worked for the last couple of years. Uh, speed cameras are effectively points of interest or POIs in a sat-nav system. And the My Audi website, you select, you upload your own POIs and then build the data files required to upload into your sat-nav. However, about 12 months ago, Audi, in their wisdom, decided to remove this functionality from the website. So we have to use a slightly different process to achieve the same result. To start with, you're going to want to go to pocketgpsworld.com. Uh, I've used this site for many years, uh, long before I, I had an Audi. It's probably got the largest collection of camera alerts that I've come across. So the first thing you're going to need to do is to register on the site. Uh, this is completely free and gets you access to the basic information available. However, to get access to the camera database, you uh, will need to subscribe to the, the service that's offered. And this is approximately £20 for a year, uh, and you get unlimited updates and downloads during that time period. When you're subscribed, you'll need to wait a few minutes for the system to update. I tend to log out and back in again and just generally click around until the download option appears in the menu, but don't worry, it will appear after, after a couple of minutes. So when the download option appears in the menu, you just simply need to click on that. And then you need to choose the type of download you need. I'm downloading the UK data, so I've selected the Garmin version. As you can see, I've previously downloaded uh, this, and it's just a simple click to re-download it. But you can choose a different region or data set if you want. When you've downloaded the file, you want to save it into a folder somewhere on your computer, and then extract the files into that folder. Next, and this is the bit you would have previously done on the Audi website, you need to go to poibase.com and download the POIBase application and install it onto your system. There is a Windows version available there and a browser version for other, other operating systems. But we're specifically going to use the Windows version in this video. One thing to note on the website, you can download POIs here uh, too. Uh, and they're uh, a little bit cheaper. Uh, however, the list doesn't seem to be quite as comprehensive as Pocket GPS World. Um, but if you want to save a bit of money, then this is another option available to you. So once the application is installed and running, you'll then be prompted to select what type of a device you're using. Uh, for this process, you want to select manual and then choose Audi from the list. But as you can see, there's plenty of other options available. You'll then need to register for an account. Again, this is totally free to do and just allows you to set up your own private POIs for uh, download. You'll then get the following screen where you want to select load POIs and speed cams, then click on my private POIs, and then finally import my POI. You then need to click add POI category, and then the next screen is where you define your POI details, starting with a category name. I find it best to name the categories by camera type. So the first one is Gatso cameras. Then you need to select an image to display on the sat nav. Now the Pocket GPS World uh, download actually comes with some, some images uh, for you to use. So you just need to select the appropriate one. Now there is another image option available, which is a slightly larger sized image. And this is optional for Audi vehicles. I've already got some additional images from when I did this via the Audi website so I'm going to select one of those but as I say this is totally optional. Finally you need to choose the file that contains the list of camera locations so choose the corresponding one to go with the Gatto cameras. Leave all the column configuration as is and click on add POI category. You'll then see the Gatso cameras in your private POI list uh, with a little timer icon against it. 
It takes a few seconds to process each one. So whilst you're waiting, just go ahead and add in the other categories, just repeating the process for each one. When your list of POIs is ready, you should have an add option against each one. Just click those uh, that you want to use and then click on the download button. So your database will now be built and it's at this point you'll need to have either a USB stick or an SD card formatted to FAT32 to hand. When it's finished, just click on the OK button and the data will be copied across. You can now take this to your car. Okay guys, so I'm in the car now and I've gone into the MMI. Uh, you want to go to settings and then left click on the jog wheel to go to MMI settings. Choose your system maintenance option and then system update. You then need to select the device that contains your speed camera data files. In my case, it's SD card one. The system will then look for the data and you can select start update when prompted. It takes just a few seconds to update and when complete, you should get a confirmation screen saying it's been successful. You then need to go into your nav screen and right click on the jog wheel, select navigation settings and choose arrival notification. Ensure the top two options are selected and then click on my Audi special destinations. Simply select each of the camera types you want displayed on your system. Back on your sat-nav screen, you can now see that the Gatso camera has been highlighted there. When you're driving along, you'll get an audible alert. And when you're coming up to that camera, unfortunately, you can't change the tone. It's just, it's just a basic beep. Uh, you'll also get a message on the display telling you uh, what type of camera you're coming up to as well. If you've got the virtual cockpit in your car, then you'll also get the cameras displayed on there. However, you won't get the pop-up alert displayed there. Okay, and that's it. So I hope you found the uh, video useful, guys. Whilst it's been for an Audi, I know you can use the data to do a similar kind of thing for other brands as well. Thanks for watching the video. And if you enjoyed it, then please click on the like button and maybe even subscribe to the channel for more content. See you next time. Bye for now.